Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, like always, we're going to mention the Discord server slash tanker yard. If you want to receive a shout out at the start of the video or a request a build to be built, look no further than your tanker yard, your trustworthy tanker yard that is. And there's two ways of doing this. One, you can either put your gamer tag in the comment section below on this video. Or two, join our Discord server and put your gamer tag in the tanker yard section on the Discord server. Link is down in the description. And what gamer tags am I? looking for well i'm looking for your java bedrock xbox playstation or nintendo switch gamer tag and you'll be entered into the tanky yard here and receive a shout out at the start of a video and yeah it's really fun i love reading off names even though i can't pronounce some of them anyways let's get into this tutorial today we are building this the panzer 58 a swiss from a swiss cold war main battle tank from switzerland Yes, this will be our first Swiss vehicle. Yes. So let's get down there and uh, get to Switzerland. Even though they're a country that rarely, rarely goes to war, they still need to defend themselves. Uh, every country has a right to defend themselves. And here we are in Switzerland. So to build the Panzer 58, or PZ 58. Today you'll be needing polished andersite, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, block of coal, lime terracotta, stone stairs, stone slabs, glass, nether brick slabs, and eventually andersite wall. Alright, so let's start off with right here with one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, and then double them up. Just like this just like that there we go all right next we're going to do some stone brick slabs right here and on this side as well there we go and on the back we're going to do an upright or oh, uh, half a block up on the slab there we go and then on front we're going to put placeholders down to do the other half there we go Alrighty, next we're going to put stone brick stairs right here, and on the reverse side, polished andersite, and on the back, polished andersite on top of these slabs with uh, stone brick stairs on the back, just like that. Alright, moving on to lime terracotta, you're going to put one here, one here, and one here, just like that, and on the inside on the other side as well. There you go, and we're going to finish off with our stone brick like this just like that now if you wanted to you could uh, do something a little unique by making them droop down a bit on the inner parts here this is just something that if you want to you can but you don't have to it just kind of makes it look a little bit different and we're gonna add it we're gonna do the same thing on this side just to just to spice it up a bit And just go on through. And this should finish it like that. All right. Now that is a complete track section and a suspension system. Now remember, folks, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this awesome tank into your world. So let us continue. So we don't no longer need those anymore. We're at the front here. Let's get our Paul Sanders, I mean, our Andersite wall. And on the front, we're going to do upside down stone stairs right here. One, one, two, three. Just like that. On the inside, we're going to do the floor. Bring it on in. All the way back in one, two, like so. And we're going to do one, two. With a slab right there. And then on the inside, we can just fill it in by going around like so. There we are. All right, Vindava. All right, next, one, two, three slabs right there. With one, two, three, and one, two, three stairs like so. And in the center, we can put a glass. There we are. All right, on the back. We're going to do 
one, two, three, four, five uh, stone brick. I'm at another brick, and one, two, and one, two, just like that, and a row of slabs. Then we're gonna do one, two, one, two stairs on each side with a full block right in the center. And on the back here, we're gonna add some uh, mud flaps like that. And then another andesite wall just for the exhaust. There we go. Next, we can connect these sides like so. There we are. All right. Then on the back right here on each side, we're gonna put three blocks of coal on each side and you can just do that in the center. And right here, we're gonna separate the fighting department from the engine and put two like that. All right, your hole is complete, and now it is time for the turret. We'll start from the back here. Go one, and then one, two, like so. And one, and two. Bring it around. Then one, two, and one, two. Then one, and one. Full block, full block. And one, and one. And here, we're going to put that like that. And now we'll add, I believe it's a 90 millimeter gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and muzzle brake. There we go, and now we have all we have left to do is finish the top. So I'm gonna move that right there, right there. We're gonna have this temporarily. One, two, three, one, two, three. Remove these two, but keep the center. We're gonna put a slab right here. And two slabs on the front. And that should complete your turret. And that should actually will complete their base build of the Panzer 58. So now it is time for cosmetics. We're going to need polished blackstone button, green carpet, nether brick fence, iron trapdoors, iron bars, and draught, chest, dark oak button, and flower pot. Alright, so chests, let's get these out of the way. These are pretty easy. So starting from this green block, we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, one. Just like that on both sides. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. There we go. Alright, and rod's going to be for your coaxial 20 millimeter, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I am not an expert on Swiss vehicles. Alright, so that'll do that. Your nether brick fences are going to go one, two on the back of these stairs. And then we're going to do three iron bars on each one. And one iron bar right there on that one. Alright, next green carpet, we're going to put one right there. One, two. One, two. One. And one. And on the back there, one, two, one, two. Now you can if you want to um, cover the chest if you want to, but I'm not going to. All right. Next, we'll switch to our iron trap doors and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to have to grab our iron bars again and put them on these open spots. These are supposed to be rear view mirrors, but. Uh, it's kind of hard to do in Minecraft. All right, so next we're going to do one, two, three, right there. One, one right there. One right there. On the back here. Uh, no need to. Uh, if you want, you could do something like that. All right, flower pots. We're going to put one, two, three. Wait, oops, I uh, did these stairs wrong. It's supposed to be like this. All right, glad we fixed those stairs, and now we can fix our flower pot. There we go. All right, let's grab some more materials, which will be oak sign, dark oak pressure, dark oak trapdoor, heavy weighted pressure plate, iron frame, and glass pane. All right, with these, we're gonna put one, and then two, one, two. And then all over right here and on this side. And one on the rear. 
There we go. All right, next are our oak signs. I'm going to do one, two, three. And one, two, three. Your heavy weighted pleasure plate is going to go right here. One, two. Next are our polished blackstone buttons. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two. And then our dark oak buttons. One, two on the muzzle brake. Then all the way down right here. And there we go. Now all we have left are our item frames for our headlights. With one, two, and then twist and twist. And there you have it, folks. You have successfully completed the Panzer 58. Cold War medium, uh, Cold War main battle tank from Switzerland. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love the addition of my wonderful subscriber. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description. We can come chat, come hang out, and do everything. It's lots of fun in there. Lots of memes going on. If you like memes, I like memes. So, yeah, with that said, remember to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.